Uh, I'm Dr. Bernd Oldnoy, and I'm going to show you a new invention I've made, which is a new inflow control device. But before I show you the device itself, I would like to explain the purpose of the invention. Uh, if you look here, uh, we have a long horizontal well. One of the problems with horizontal wells is that uh, uh, due to the pressure drop inside the tubing, we get a higher flow rate at the heel as opposed to the toe of the well. To, uh, to reduce that problem, we install chokes or inflow control devices at uh, different intervals to even out the flow such that the water oil contact or gas oil contact is moving in parallel with the wellbore itself. However, there are problems because ICDs are just chokes. Their function changes with uh, uh, pressure depletion, which means that at the late sta later stage in the um, production phase of the reservoir, uh, uh, they may still uh, uh, get uh, water or gas inflow. And the new device is um, designed to eliminate that problem. Uh, here is a model of the ICD device. This is a production tubing coming in from this side. Screen to keep the solids out. Oil is flowing along the tubular into a housing where the valve is uh, placed. And we have one of these at each uh, 10 meter of production string. And now we'll look at the test where we'll compare the function of uh, the new I ICD with the existing uh, products on the market. Uh, here is the experimental setup where I would like to show you the difference between the new valve and a an standard ICD. Um, this is uh, just a choke or a standard ICD. This is the new valve which have two uh, hoses coming into it be which because it has hydraulic feedback. Uh, you see the flow are, is identical from the two valves at present and the pressure uh, across the valves are five bars as seen here. Let's see what happens when we decrease the pressure across the valves. Let's decrease the pressure from five to four bars, maybe down to three bars and even lower. You observe that um, the flow in the standard ICD decreases because that's just a nozzle. Whereas in the, in the new valve, the flow is constant. So you understand that uh, with a standard ICD, uh, flow pattern is going to change with degree of reservoir depletion. Whereas in using our new valve, you can uh, uh, maintain a constant flow regardless of uh, reservoir and tubular pressure. Let's see what happens when we increase the pressure now. Um, for example, in a, in a water or a gas injection well. Let me increase the pressure again back to four bar, maybe all the way up to five bar. And you see that um, the standard ICD increases flow because it's just a nozzle. Uh, that means that if you have a, um, a reservoir with a permeability contrast, your uh, injection profile depends on the applied pump pressure. But using our valve, you observe that uh, the flow is constant uh, regardless of pressure and you have ensured a, a very good flooding of your reservoir. And so the importance of this invention is that you can maximize recovery in the reservoir because you can uh, control reservoir flow much better and the, the process is now not very sensitive to changes in reservoir parameters because you control it from the outside using the new valve.